Hello friends, welcome to Code Boot. So in the previous video, we saw some interesting shortcuts in Eclipse that helped us write the code in a faster and easier way. Actually, you didn't have to type anything. Everything was done by the Eclipse itself with the available shortcuts. Similarly, we will see some more interesting shortcuts in this video. But before that, I would suggest please go and watch that video if you haven't watched it yet. It is very useful and has some very interesting shortcuts covered. So let's get started with this video. In this video, we are going to see some new shortcuts in the Eclipse that are going to help us write the code. So let's start with the first shortcut that is Control Shift O. When you type Control Shift O, it is going to organize your imports. If anything has not been imported, any part of your code has not been imported or you know if there are extra imports, it can be removed with this shortcut. Let's see how. So suppose you, in this code you are taking user input. Okay, so that is done with the help of scanner. So we will write scanner input equal to new scanner system dot int. So this is the basic syntax to, you know, uh, take the user input. Now scanner, the Eclipse ID or the compiler does not know where this scanner belongs to. So we need to import that. So even the error is showing that cannot, scanner cannot be resolved to a type. So it is not able to identify the type of the scanner. So we need to import it. So we'll just type, con just press Control Shift O and the scanner will be imported. Here you can see that the scanner is imported. So in this way with the Control Shift O, you can add any imports if required or even remove the excessive imports, imports if there are any. So I'll just print the input here and that's it. So this is the way Control Shift O can be used. Now how can we use Control Shift F that is used to format the code? Now sometimes by mistake you can just place the statements here and there. For example, this goes like this. This is not the proper way of writing the code. The code is not in the proper shape. So using one key, you don't have to you know, arrange every line all by yourself. Just using one shortcut, you can format the entire file and that is Control Shift F. So if I press Control Shift F, the whole code is formatted as you can see. And I haven't touched even a single line. Then there comes Alt Shift J, which is used to generate a Java doc. Now, if you want to add comments to a certain method and tell who has written it and what it does, you need Java doc for it. Even Java doc helps you to understand the code. We'll study more about Java doc in the later videos, but how to generate Java doc with a shortcut we will see in this particular video. So I'm placing a cursor here and I'll just say Alt Shift J and my Java doc is generated. So it is asking for some parameters if any. So in this method, I have parameter ARGS and I'll just write the description, a main method that prints the user input. So in this way, I can explain my code. Then the next shortcut that is control plus W is used to close the current file. And the next shortcut that is control plus shift plus W is to close all the open files. So I'm just pressing control plus W and you can see my current file is being closed. And even if I press Ctrl plus Shift plus W, the same thing is, happen, is going to happen. Whatever the files are open, they are going to close. You can try it on your own. So I'm just pressing Ctrl Shift W and all the files are going to be closed. So these are these were some new shortcuts for the Eclipse IDE, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video too. And if you like this video, please share it and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you.